So just to start off the video, most important and exciting news that we have recently. We're, we're godparents. <laughs> so we're proud godparents of Mason Nibs. Um, such a wonderful little kid. And um, the parents are great. Like a bout. And we kind of just wanted to quickly touch on how important it is to having a village. And it takes a village to raise a kid. And she messing with her hair. Y'all should be used to it by now. It's every video, right? <laughs> so we're definitely proud um, godparents and what you thought about it babe um the, i think the main thing is is like we always talk about um you know you can't pick your family true you know so when you pick your friends and you pick the people you want to be around it means a lot so when someone or when parents say and we know the gravity of being parents and raising you know our kids when someone says we want you to be a part of that. Right. That's a huge honor. Big time. Um, a big responsibility that we don't take lightly. Um, and so that just, I think it just meant like so much. So much. You know, to us. Um, and especially with how, like you said, how serious we take being parents. And for someone to say that they trust their kid and their well-being in our hands, it's such an honor. Yes, absolutely. And again, you can't pick your parents. Like, we, we talk about our siblings. Mm -hmm. Me and Babe talk about, you know, we didn't pick our brothers or sisters or we didn't pick our kids. You know, we're happy to have them, but we're just saying right. the, the, the power of choice. Right. When someone chooses you, that's it's just huge. It's huge to us. So, right. you know, being a part of the village and growing our village is... Um, a necessity when you want to insulate your kids, insulate your beliefs, and and make your your company. I'm sorry, your your community um, impactful and strong. So we're happy to be godparents. We are uh, proud, 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 proud <laughs> very proud. Yes. Um, so you know, and then it's the the next thing we want to talk about was summer camps. Oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and speaking about kids, yeah, right. it's summer, right? And we are doing summer camps. Yes, and so when, we, when we think Matter about fact, summer open camps, this for me. yeah, let me open that for you. Yeah, I just thought about when that. When we think about summer camps, I mean, think about the summer. We try to think, okay, we want to make sure our kids stay engaged, they're not bored, they're being exposed. But what we didn't realize, and definitely myself, because normally. I try to handle this stuff, but let me tell y'all, was, I was hit upside the head quickly <laughs> with, with us moving the competitive, the competitiveness of summer camps yes. and and the urgency and the and the just I didn't realize it was such a huge deal, yeah. you know, yeah. and especially when you want those particular camps you want your kids to be into, and you know, Jada has a great camp, and now as has come to the age where now he can go to certain camps before. Before kindergarten, you can't really go to anything. Right. So now it's, you know. Yeah. We're, what the thing is, is that we're looking for things that stimulate them. Mm -hmm. So anytime there's anything good or exclusive, y'all know it goes first. Yeah. Or it costs a pretty penny. So <laughs> we were like, oh, they're out of school. You know, we'll be able to do this and that. Man, it rearranged our budget so quick. <laughs> <laughs> And it hit us on the head. Right. And um, but it's the choice that we made. So yeah. we have to allocate those funds to make sure that our kids are where, you know, in these camps that we want and they're right. being stimulated and active. And um, I'm so grateful, y'all. Mr. Forts agreed to let Ezra go to a hip hop dance class. Now, when I tell you my <laughs> husband, I don't know about y'all, but my husband, girl, he's old school, okay? He's like the 1972 <laughs> father. He don't want to see his son dancing. Like, oh, Bundy? Um, not, no, no, low key. But, like, I, my boy, he dances. If you know my son, Ezra Forts, he gets down, okay? And so when I see the hip hop dancing class, I'm like, babe, please, please, let's let him go. And you know, Ricardo is just not with the bull. Nah. So he's just like, man, nah, go ahead with that, go ahead. So this year, y'all, Ricardo. I broke down. He broke down, <laughs> and we're trying to expose him to, you know, Ezra to different things. And that's the key. Yeah, it's so. The, it's the exposure, and then I see how much he likes to do it. Yes. And, you know, with some pushing and tugging from my wife and then assistance of my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Just the added push, you know. Yeah. I really didn't want to hear no more, but then my mama added on to it. Right. I said, let them do it, you know. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the choice. 
next week, well, this coming up week is will be the um, first week. It'll be exciting. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, we'll go from there and try to continue to expose, you know, our kids. And y'all make sure y'all leave comments on how <laughs> you guys decide to do summer camps, yes. great summer camps, you know. Yes. Because the summer's not over. So That's right. we still can sign them up and, you know, expose them to different things. So yep. we're looking forward to that. Yes. And speaking of kids and being summer out. Summer camps and field trips. Right, field yeah. trips to the zoo. <laughs> Come on, y'all, this gorilla. Come on. Why we, Why is this even become an issue? Like, let me tell y'all, if it's, I don't give a done, if it's a dog, cat, mule, I don't care. I'm shooting on sight. Like, yeah. my kid in there, I'm shooting. Like, yeah. Yeah. come on. Yeah. Kids make mistakes. Parents, I don't know. I don't even care about the story behind because to me, it wasn't even important. If a kid's in there, that's the end of the story. Yeah. If it becomes a threat, you have to shoot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I because I think they were saying they couldn't tranquil do the tranquilizer gun, right? Because yeah. that would have made it more upset yep. and all of that. And then the kid um, would really be in danger. And yeah, and then I think the other thing is like people are like, well, I, you know, aren't you watching your kid? And you know, how did the kid get down there? Listen, I'm not judging any mother. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like when I was seeing a lot of like different commentary and articles, it's it's a lot of folks that don't have kids. And so Come on, my <laughs> so my thing was is I never throw rocks and hide my hand and I don't talk about experiences that I that I haven't had because I, you know, I can't really weigh in right. on something that I don't know about. Right. So as a mother, I know even as helicopter of a mother as I am, there's moments in time that my kids may right. slip away from me. Right. I mean, and all it takes is a second. That's it. How many times have you guys been out in the grocery store and your kid just kind of scurried her out into the parking lot mm -hmm. and nothing happened, thank God, but you were so upset you got on your kid. Yeah. Imagine that was that one time for that mom. That's right. I don't know. I didn't, to me, and it's like things happen, yeah. but to me, to put a gorilla's life over a human being life, it's a problem. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. In in this situation, in this situation, yeah, in this situation, when it was the kid down in that pit like that, right? Because I, I feel like overall in society we see what type type of um, power, like with the whole Michael Vick and the dog things. Mm -hmm. Like I think it depends. You know, society picks and choose who's who they're gonna lay on the cross right. for you know for so this type true. of stuff mm -hmm. and so in this instance for me it was a kid i didn't care if they were purple yellow orange polka right. dotted it is a child Good that point. made them they made a mistake and i didn't understand why the conversation was going on for five days about because <laughs> right. the, the whole situation it was a daggone kid right if it's my baby we're shooting on site on site on <laughs> like site. i i mean and then, if y'all throw me in jail, well, y'all throw me in jail for um, negligence my, or whatever right. it is. But my baby is coming home with me. Yeah, that's all and then matters. after that, my baby will be on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. If it's a grown-up, then then it's a decision to make. Cause, and if it's a grown-up with all their senses, right. then they made that choice. I, mean, I ain't shooting no animal for that. <laughs> now, 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 I'm right. with you with that. Right, right. But like you said, a kid a kid can't control that. Yeah, Come on. This, Come on. this situation was yeah. a little little... I just thought it was stupid. Yeah. I was thinking, why? Are, what, what are we doing here? You well, know? What are we really discussing? If and, and a lot of times it was like when people were making this commentary, and then you can read their bio or you know people that you know, and you're like, yo, if that was your baby you down there, the camera, come on, come on over a little bit. There oh, you go. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I get you. Know, I get a little passionate you do. about that. You do. I was really like upset about this. Like, how is everybody really still talking about? You know, well. It just wasn't any conversation to me. Right. Damn it. The kid was down there. The baby was down there. So, anyways, y'all, we're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave it alone. All right. <laughs> it's the summertime. It's a lot going on. Yes. Um, we got to see our God baby and hang out with um, his parents. And we such got, a blessing. Yes, yeah, such a blessing. Um, babe and I have been hanging out, you know, oh, yeah. sleeping a lot. We didn't realize how tired we were once summer hit. Mm, and then the sun out here. I don't know where y'all live, but this Georgia sun it's is on my killing, shoulder. I'm telling you. But And so we haven't really been, like, doing a lot of traveling, which has been honestly pretty great uh, since we moved into the new home. Um, we've just been, like, getting this together, mm -hmm. resting, um, and just reconnecting. Yep, reconnecting. That's always good. So and we'll definitely touch on touch base on that in the next video. But yes. thank y'all. Enjoy your summer and we look forward to seeing and communicating with you guys. Yeah, bye. <laughs>